Hello, welcome to Lemon Mysterious, where we talk anything and everything in entertainment. I'm, of course, the Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is my review for House of the Dragon, Season 2, Episode 2. But before we get into that, let's get the house clean out of the way, shall we? I'm going to leave a like. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on this week's episode of House of the Dragon. And, of course, hit that subscribe button as it helps me grow into my YouTube career. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get into the review, shall we? So, this was a beefy episode, right? Like, I'm talking movie length and everything was just being pushed forward i don't think there was any fat whatsoever it was just go 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 and obviously the main vocal point of this episode was going to be the death of Aegon's son which was absolutely i mean the way it kicks off how we just stay with him on that night and Aegon is destroying what Viserys built throughout all of season one i was like oh man come on he worked really hard on that. You're just destroying it. I mean, he it looked really good. He's like, I declare war. I declare war. I was like, bud, you were already in war. <laughs> and he, what I like what they did with his character, because look, I can feel for him a lot. I, I do. I, I mean, it is a pain that I hope I never have to experience or that I wish no one to experience whatsoever. It is the death of someone within their family that is, you know, their son or their daughter, just they ch their own child to bury. And of course, he wants rage, he wants blood. Just like Renera in episode one, she had one line. You know, she did, she went through all of the emotions that she did, which I do think it was like a nice contrast to see the difference between the two. But Renera stayed calm, she waited till she saw the body, she cried, and she, went through all the emotions and then went in and said, I want Eamon and then walked out. Well, Aegon, which is acting a fool. I mean, when they got to the table, he was throwing cups and all these things, asking where was everyone at? And Cole and Allison were looking at each other like, I don't know, I mean, we, we was asleep. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, and going in, we're gonna talk about Colin a little bit because I really do want to talk about him. However, the most reasonable person in the room, well, not reasonable, but the one who knew the play, the play to make, and it's the man that I hate the most. If y'all been on this ride with me, y'all know I hate this man. And it was Otto Hightower. I despise this man whatsoever, but I gotta say, every time he spoke, I was like, he ain't wrong. <laughs> he ain't wrong. Like, yeah, sure, yeah, no, this, this kid's dead. Um, if we parade him around the kingdom and say Renera did it, she's going to lose a lot of allies. Absolutely. I mean, if I was like, I mean, I'm thinking about the Starks, and they're just like, what? Man, I don't know if we can keep supporting this girl. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, all those different things. And then also, you know, later on, when he's talking to Aemon, Granted, in a bad way, because surely he had to know he was on the ropes, that he was like, why did you hang all the rat catchers? We just got everyone to sympathize with us, and now you just threw it all away. You just threw it all away. And again, Aegon, I can completely understand where he's coming from. They talked to the guy. The guy said, look, Damon sent me, and also there was a rat catcher with me. I do not know his name. So what did Aegon do? I'm just going to kill all the rat catchers. We'll just go we we'll just go do away with it i don't think i would have you know like you know show the bodies for everyone to see because no one knows why you're hanging all the rat catchers but um again completely understandable why you would want them all dead completely get it it's just a stupid way to go about it and then of course this is when Otto finally loses his uh hand he's no longer the hand of the king and they gave it to cole which i'm just uh um and when they did that, again, I hate this man. I hate Otto Hightower with a passion. I was like, man, that's a big blow for Team Green because Otto was making some good points. I mean, even from episode one going, look, you can't give him back the goats. We got to keep the goats so we can keep the dragons fed because as you know, a war is coming. He had all these points, so on and so forth. But then Aegon, you know, he's gone mad. He is now the Mad King, which understandably so, that he is now focused on just rage and he just wants revenge. He wants blood. I just don't know how much control he's going to have because all he's going to want is just to go kill, kill, kill. And Cole's going to be like, that's a great idea, King. I love that. 
Now we're getting to coal. Now, I used to be a coal defender. I did think he was a good guy. Like, you know, in episode one of season two, I was part of the, you know, look, I'm still team black, but you know, on team green, there's some people I can understand, but there are still more bad people on team green than there are on team black. And Cole, to me, was one of those misunderstood ones. Granted, he was stupid for thinking Rhaenyra was going to run off with him. And I think everyone can understand that, you know, an ex and you have some, you have some rage against them. Jealous, jealous ex, right? Completely, we could, we've all been there at some point. And I get it. Like, I, I got it, dude. And especially, you know... I guess if, you know, Renero pleased them very well, you would miss that quite a bit because that's it. That's it at the end of the day. He just misses the girl. Um, granted, it's gone on way too long. He needs to move on. I mean, he did kind of move on. And also, with everyone hating that him and Allison are together, again, I can understand this relationship because, you know, Allison, her first marriage was a transaction. I think she actually feels something for the guy here, for uh, Sir Cole. And Cole, I mean, come on guys, Olivia Cook is a beautiful woman. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Like, so I get the relationship, I do. I am now more on team. Yeah, no, Cole, you're kind of pathetic. When he was, you know, obviously they're mad at themselves, right? I mean, you see it through Allison through the whole entire episode, who's kind of who was kind of toned down in this episode quite a bit. No, not toned down. Just much more background, if anything, that she feels guilty because Cole wasn't out there because, you know, they were having some fun. They were wrestling late at night. Um, and Cole feels that way, too. That, look, if I was out there, I probably could have stopped this. But can he own up to that? No. So what does he do? He gets mad at Eric. And like, oh, why, why are your robes bad? You know, the robes mean purity and all this stuff. And when he was talking about that, I was like, you need to get off of your high horse. <laughs> you are, no. Of all the people to be talking about purity and all that, you are the last person to be doing that, man. You already broke your honor multiple times. And then you did it again later on. Um, and then saying, you're gonna go and kill Renera by yourself. Like that was just stupid. And the fact that Aegon was like, yeah, no, that sounds good. And Otto and was like, that's the stupidest plan I've ever heard. He needs to go with some people. He's gonna get caught. This is not gonna go well whatsoever. And of course it didn't. We got to battle the twins, which was also very dramatic because you know, the way that they were talking with each other, like, brother. And then that one last moment they had before they killed each other, was brutal. Like, I, I really felt it. I was like, damn. And, you know, in the story tone that Renero was saying with her eyes, like, man, this girl has just been through so much. And then on Team Black, mainly with Renero finally, you know, having enough of Damien, like, dude, I cannot trust you. When she realizes that it was him who sent it. And, you know, credit to Damien. Like, look, Damien is one of the bad ones on Team Black. But he's one of the fun bad ones, right? Like, you just love watching him. Like him and Eamon are, are those people that you just, you know, you just, you just captivate what they're going to do. And Eamon, he didn't have much going on. He had one scene, but not much to really talk about. It was an honest mistake. He told them, kill the guy with the eye patch. That's all you have to do. Now, it was very much alluded to that if they say, if you can't find him, then, you know, settle for what you got. We didn't hear that in episode one, but in episode two, they do that. So now I revoke the these guys were stupid but when um he was like look it was an honest mistake I was like you know Renera it kind of was I mean not fully but it was and I just let the build up to that argument like it was a conversation at first and then it was just build 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 to the point where um Damon is starting to throw stuff Renera is yelling a little bit just love the whole scene work of of that whole entire scene and now we move on to the next step right what what are we going to do um Renera sent that uh Damien's daughter out to go to go spy on them Aegon is one in blood still now that Cole's the king I don't know what's going to happen but I'm excited for it I absolutely love this episode I think uh this was a big improvement from episode one 
Again, everything just push through, push through, push through, push through. Don't really know why Allison's still hooking up with Cole. I guess they really do like each other. Um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Hit that like video and hit that subscribe button as it helps me grow into my YouTube here. We are going through this whole entire journey together. And don't forget to squeeze the day, guys. Guys, make every day matter. So squeeze it to your absolute full potential. Until next time, I'll see you here at Linda Studios.